Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Matt Cart or me, my beautiful wife, Veronica. Go to the garage sales store stores and the Goodwill bins to find things to resell on our eBay store. A lot of the orders that we actually got today were either from like marketplace buys or actually from the Goodwill bins. With that being said, here are nine items you can sell on eBay to make some money. Starting off with some jelly cats right here. I believe they're right in this section. So right here, this is actually a brand new jelly cat we actually found at the Goodwill bins. Super nice, just a lovely soft jelly cat here, new with tag. This is like the second time I've ever found a new with tag jelly cat. So really excited about that. I actually accepted an offer for $30 and we're gonna get this ready to ship out today. And the next jelly cat was a ballerina jelly cat. Ah, oh, it's somewhere here. I know it's somewhere, I think in the bottom row. This is the thing, we, we gotta be better with organizing jelly cats. I might just grab like a gigantic bin to throw all our jelly cats in that we find in the bins because we've been finding quite a lot quite a lot so this ballerina jelly cat i don't know if it's in the bottom section then because i cannot find it for the life of me so let's check out the top row here and there it is that was very difficult to find a really tiny jelly cat i got to figure out a better system for jelly cats i might reorganize my whole store at some point um, maybe even just get some racks for the video games then maybe uh, some big bins for the jelly cats instead of just having them laying out there something more organizational kind of like this how we get all the skews numbered as I say that, jeez, look at that, falling right off. But anyways, this sold for $25 and we're gonna get this ready to ship out today. All right, now let's get moving with the toys. Uh, Batman and Robin, vintage uh, Super Powers toys from 1984. I did a lot of Batman and Robin together. They're missing their capes and the Batman has a bit of a loose leg. I actually picked one of these up a long time ago at a Valley Village in Toronto and the other one was actually uh, sold me from a friend at the Goodwill Bins who had a bag full of vintage toys and I thought it was really awesome. I collect a lot of the superpower stuff so all the better condition ones I actually save for my collection than the ones that aren't as good or missing pieces I will sell on eBay and that's what I do with this oh, ring. A power action punch. You see it's the song. Can this madness be stopped in time? You And it is in queue which is annoying because it's the one all the way at the top right here. There's actually a few items that sold were that were in here so we'll grab this one first. There you go. Not bad, sold it for $27 on eBay. Really cool vintage score. We're gonna get this ready to ship out today. We also sold a vintage My Little Pony. It's called Moon Dancer. I believe it's a baby pony. So this was also in queue. Ah, there we go. It actually wasn't in a bag or anything like that. I'll have to put it in a bag now. But yeah, I believe this sold for $19.50, which is not a crazy high price tag for a vintage pony. But still, you know, picking this up at the good old bins, we maybe we paid like 30 cents for this. So I'm happy to flip it for that price. And we're also gonna get this ready to ship out on eBay. Okay, so this is gonna be in SKU H. It's a Funko Pop lot, loose Funko Pops, Trailer Park Boys. Not bad, sold it for $35. And usually I don't do much with like uh, the loose Funko Pops. I know there's a lot of like new in-box collectors, but honestly, some of them sell. So do your research. These ones went for way more than I actually thought they were going to go. Here they are in H. I literally just put these in because we got them like this week. So they sold incredibly fast as well. Not bad for $35 for three Funko Pops. Definitely a good idea to put these in a lot since they're all from the same show and they're all like buddies on the show as well. If you guys never seen Trailer Park Boys, it's a really good show. Super fun Canadian show. But yeah, regardless, this is going out as well on eBay. Almost forgot there's one more toy in queue here and it is a spectacular Spider-Man. Venom figure, we sold this I think for $24, not bad. Honestly, guys, check out the spectacular Spider-Man sold comps. Some of these figures, especially one of the Spider-Mans we sold before, sold for over $100. They're uh, very rare and they're highly collectible. One of the best Spider-Man animated shows of all time if you've never seen it. Anyways, this is great. I love getting things like this at the good old pins and it sold for $24. So we're gonna get this ready to ship out today. Okay, now we're gonna get into the video game section. We sold one PlayStation 1 game, the most expensive PlayStation 1 game we have and that was Chocobo Racing. We picked it up for $3 at a thrift store in my city and we ended up selling it for $117.30. It is complete in box, but still a fantastic flip. Honestly, be on the lookout for that game. It's definitely one of those Bolo games for PlayStation 1. It sells for really, really high amounts of money, and it really depends on the condition, obviously, how complete it is. And this one was actually not bad. A very good disc, and also it came with this manual. So a bonus here, and we're gonna get this ready to ship out today. And here it is, beautiful. Beautiful copy here. No cracks in the disc at all. Very nice. This is like Mario Kart for PS1. Just a really unique game as well. So happy to have this finally ship out today. 
Then we also got Mario Kart Wii. I think this is like the fifth time we've sold this game on eBay. Uh, and this one we actually found in a Facebook Marketplace deal. This wasn't at the bins or at a yard sale. This is actually a transaction that I didn't film, but still happy regardless because I paid $5 for it and it sold for $34. And I believe it's right there at the bottom. So I have to do a little bit of shifting around. Hopefully I don't break anything. Okay. Let's move that over there to be safe. And there it is. It did not come with a manual. If it came with this manual, I probably could get closer to $40, but still happy, you know, case and disc, 34 bucks. Really happy with that flip. We're gonna get this ready to ship out today. Then we have a Nintendo DS game that sold a Super Mario game. This is another one we got on a Facebook Marketplace haul that we didn't actually film. And I know I have a lot of my, ooh, where are they? The loose discs are right here. So I believe this is it, Super Mario DS. Um, honestly, could have sold it for more, sold it for $18 because the back, as you can see there, has uh, some issues. Though I did test it in the listing and that was the picture in the actual listing. I, that's the main picture I use because I want to make sure people can't say, hey, it doesn't work. It's like, well, I tested it and it does work. So you, should, you shouldn't have any issues with this though. Yes, condition wise, it could definitely leave a lot to be desired. Okay, that is it for the sales. And these are nine items that you guys can sell on eBay for big bucks. Let me know if you've sold any of these before on eBay, if you are an eBay seller, and let me know uh, any other Bolo items that other people can check out in the comments that could help out other resellers in the community. With that being said, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.